What's going on guys? So the season for catching holdover striped bass in the Hudson River is right around the bend. The bite's about to really start heating up. So I just wanted to go over the rig I use for fishing for um, striped bass in the Hudson River in the very early spring uh, with bloodworms. I start with 40 pound mono. That's what I like to make my rigs out of. This is actually fluorocarbon. I didn't have any mono on me. And I'm gonna start by just making a loop for the sinker. Wrap it like that. Tie the loop around itself. And then I just like to double it up again. Clip off the excess. All right. And I like to put the weight on while I tie the rest of the rig. It just helps. Now the parts of the Hudson I fish have very, very little current. So I usually just use one ounce, sometimes two especially when I'm choosing to do a high-low rig over a uh, fish finder rig. You know, I always used to bait fish for striped bass with fish finder rigs, but I found when summer fishing in the ocean surf, I would catch a lot of um, striped bass as a bycatch on my high-low rigs in the ocean surf, and I've actually started liking them more than fish finder rigs when fishing smaller baits like clam or bloodworms. So for striped bass fishing in the Hudson on bloodworms, in recent years, I like to use high-low rigs. Now I'm just gonna tie a dropper loop here, pull the, pull the outside one out with the other outside one, intertwine them a few times. I have another video on how to do this exactly, if this isn't clear enough for you. All right, create the opening, pull the middle one through, Now for the hooks, in New York, as of the last couple of years, you have to use inline circle hooks when targeting striped bass. Um, now with bloodworms, I like to use very small hooks, surprisingly small hooks. I find they work really well. You know, if I was fishing um, bunker chunks at a different time of year in a different area, I would use like an eight-aught circle hook. But um, for here, I like, I'm not sure exactly what size this is, but it is a Gamagatsu uh, circle hook. And um, depending on how big, if you're making kind of a blood ball with lots of blood worms, you can go up a little bit in size, but this is really the size I like to use. And again, I'm sorry, I forgot exactly what size it is, but that'll give you a size comparison. You should be able to pick it out. And just run that through the eye. There you go, circle hook's on. And I like to make it so the, the inside of the hook is kind of tilting inward toward the rig and not away from the rig, because the way it's naturally gonna pull out of the fish's mouth, you wanna kind of direct it in that direction. And then up top, I'm just going to do a, I like to make these rigs kind of long because sometimes I fish walls, and if you get a smaller fish, you can just pull it up by the leader. So I'm just gonna take a barrel swivel and then just do a uni knot, there we go. Uni knot about five or six times. And then just pull it tight. There we go. Clip off the excess. And that's my basic high-low rig that I will use when fishing bloodworms for early spring holdover striped bass in the Hudson.